Hey what's up, Suda here, hope you're all safe during this quarantine. This video is a quick step-by-step -step guide on how you can make your Linux desktop beautiful using the theme I showed earlier. First thing to do is to bring up the terminal, update our report stories, and upgrade our system. Since I'm in PopOS, the command to use is sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Next, install our KDE desktop environment with a sudo apt install kd-plasma-desktop. Now when you see the screen, go ahead and select GDM3. Next, our login manager, LightDM. Install it with sudo apt install LightDM. Now when you see the screen again, select LightDM as our new login manager. Next, to get those blurry looking windows, install Cavantum with sudo apt install qt5 dash style dash cavantum space qt5 dash style dash cavantum dash themes. Next, for our desktop widgets, install Conky and its dependencies with sudo apt install Conky dash all space curl space jq space gok. Next, install the dependencies we need for our doc later on with sudo apt install libxcb dash render zero dash dev space libx11 dash xcb dash dev. Finally, reboot your system, and I'll see you when you boot back up. When you boot back up, you should be greeted with a light EM login screen with a purple background. Select KDE Plasma in the top right icon and login. And we're in. First thing to do is to start theming. Open up the system settings, click on global themes, and then click on the get new global themes button. Search for Sweet Mars, and then hit install. For plasma styles, we'll be using the rounded theme. Click on get new plasma styles, search and install the rounded theme. Application styles is up to you. For window decorations, I prefer to use the Sweet Mars transparent decorations. Go ahead and click on Get New Window Decorations and search for Sweet Mars if you like it. Icons are also up to your preference. I just love the look of papyrus icons, so that's what I'll be using. The same goes for cursors. Go ahead and browse for new cursors to your liking. If you take a look at our desktop menus, you can see that they are now rounded, and this is because of the theme that we installed earlier. Next is installing our dock menu. Open a Firefox in the terminal. In Firefox, search for latte-doc, while in the terminal, use this command to clone the repository containing everything we need later on. Once done cloning, open up the system settings to apply our color scheme. Click on Colors and on the install from file button. Go inside the lush-pop directory we just cloned and click on nature.colors. And once that's done, click on the newly installed color scheme and hit apply. In the latte-doc github page, you can see an installation.md file. Click on it and copy this command into your terminal to install the additional dependencies of latte-doc. Once that's done, go ahead and start the install script using the command sh space install dot sh. Once that's done, go ahead and press alt space to bring up the k runner and click on latte doc to launch the doc. Once the doc appears, go ahead and right click on the doc, click on configure latte and on the layout section, switch to extended layout. You should now see your DAW turn into a full-size panel. To edit the panel, go ahead and right-click and click on Edit Dock. Go ahead and adjust the settings to your liking. As always, you can use the settings in the video as a reference.
Next, we'll be configuring our widgets in our dock. Go ahead and right click and click on Edit Dock. Click on Rearrange and configure your widgets and remove the stock default KD clock widget. Next, we'll be adjusting our system tray. Right click and click on Configure System Tray and set everything to always hidden. You can bind them to shortcuts to your liking if you want to open any menus later on. Next, we'll be adding widgets to our dock. Go ahead and right click on your dock and click on Add Widgets. The widgets we'll be using will be the KDE Global Menu widget, the Application Title widget, and the Better Inline Clock widget. If they are already installed in your system, go ahead and click on the Get New Widgets, search and install those. Arranging the widgets is up to your preference, however, I like the KD application title and the global menu at the center of the dock, while the better inline clock to be on the right side of the dock. You can also click on the teardrop icon to enable colors in your widgets, however, I prefer them black and white as it looks more minimal in my opinion. Next, we'll be configuring the better inline clock widget. You can tweak the settings according to your liking, or you can also follow the settings you see in the video. If you like to adjust the padding of the dock, go ahead and right click on the dock, click on edit dock, and on the effects section, you can adjust the padding of the dock, and this will keep the widgets off the edge of your latte dock. If you like to change the default icon of the application launcher on the left of the dock, go ahead and right click, click on configure application launcher, click on the icon, select custom icons, and browse the icon you want the launcher to use. I have a sample SpaceX icon in the directory you just cloned, so you can also use that. At this point, let's change the default desktop wallpaper. Right click on the desktop and click on configure desktop. Click on add image and navigate to the wallpaper provided. Next, we'll be installing our Coventum theme to make our windows transparent and blurry. Go ahead and open up Coventum Manager. Click on Select Coventum Theme Folder and navigate to the Sweet Mars Transparent Toolbar folder in the Lush Dash Pop folder. Next, to enable blur for our dock, go ahead and launch the desktop effect settings. Click on the blur check icon, and you should now see your dock having a blur background. Next up is your desktop widgets. The Conky widget we'll be using uses an API key to display weather information, so we'll need to set it up first. Open up Firefox and the terminal, and in Firefox, search for openweathermap.org. Here you need to create a new account, and once that's done, in the API section of the page, you can see the API key tied into your account. Also, the website contains a comprehensive list of all cities all around the world, so go ahead and find your city and copy the city ID of the city you're living in. Our Conky widget uses the Poirate 1 font. Navigate to that font in the Poirate folder inside Lush Dashpop and go ahead and install it. In the Lush Dashpop directory, you can see a minimal underscore Conky folder. Go inside it and run dot slash install to run the installation script. When prompted for your API key and locale, leave those blank for now. Once installation completes, copy a hidden file in this directory named conkyrc and copy it to your home directory with this command. Once that's done, go ahead and edit that file we just copied 
the home directory with your favorite text editor. I'll use nano for simplicity, and you can do that with this command. Once the file is open, go ahead and scroll down until you can see the template 6 and template 7 variables. The template 6 will be where you want to put your API key in, and the template 7 will be where you want to put your CTID in. Once that's done, go ahead and run Conky by typing Conky in the terminal, and the widget should appear in your desktop. Next, we need to install some essential KWIN scripts to tell your windows and to improve color adaptation of your latte dog. Open up KWIN scripts, click on Get New Scripts, and install Cronkite and Latte Window Colors. Once that's done, go ahead and click the checkbox on both and hit Apply. And now when you open multiple windows, KD will now tile them instead of overlapping with each other. If you want to remove the top title bars of your terminal, go ahead and launch window rules. And in the window class, go ahead and type in your terminal. KD uses console by default. Go to the appearance and fix it section. Click on no title bar and frame. Select force and hit yes. If you want to configure a cron guide, go ahead and use this command on your terminal. And once it's done, go ahead and go back to your Kwin scripts and you should see a gear icon right beside cron guide. I like to have some gaps between my windows, so go ahead and do that. But apart from that, Go ahead and customize Cronkite to your liking. You can also modify Cronkite's tiling feature shortcuts right in the global shortcuts menu. Go ahead and press all space, select global shortcuts, and into the Kwin section, go ahead and modify Cronkite shortcuts. If your terminal doesn't look the same as mine, it's probably because of your theme. Go ahead and right click on your terminal, click on edit current profile, and under the appearance tab, you can get new themes for your terminal. I use a sweet dash Mars theme, because I think it looks beautiful, but go ahead and choose the theme that you want. Next, we'll be installing our custom splash screen. Go ahead and go inside the lush-pop directory, and use this command to install our custom splash screen. Once that's done, we can check our custom splash screen by opening up the splash screen settings. Click on the play button to preview the splash screen. And once that's done, go ahead and click on Lush and hit Apply. The last step will be installing our custom login screen. Go inside the Lush Pop directory and open the file manager here. Install the dev file by opening it with Eddy. And once a window opens, go ahead and click Install. Once that's done, you should have the LightDM WebKit 2 Reader installed in your system. The next thing we need to do is to apply a custom theme to make the WebKit 2 Reader look beautiful. Copy the WebKit 2 Glorious theme to your WebKit 2 Themes folder with this command. Next, we need to tell LightDM to use the WebKit 2 greeter and the custom theme we just installed. Edit the LightDM configuration file with this command, and if the file isn't there yet, go ahead and create that configuration file and edit it with your favorite text editor. Make sure your LightDM configuration file looks like this, and the greeter session variable contains the WebKit 2 greeter. Next, we need to tell the WebKit 2 greeter to use the custom theme that we installed to so go ahead and edit that configuration file using this command. Look for WebKit underscore theme and change its value to lightdm webkit 2 theme glorious. Once that's done, our beautiful custom login screen should be installed and ready to use. Go ahead and reboot your system and you should be greeted with the custom login screen.